Hello and welcome to yet another quick tutorial and in this one we're going to have a very quick setup of trying to render within Blender to give it a, uh, a SketchUp style and what I did for a client was to create a, a scene and then render the output to give it a SketchUp style so without much further ado let's just quickly set, uh, jump into it so what we do have here is a model of a sofa gotten from Blender Kits. It's a free uh, plugin that you can always search for your objects if you want to build a quick scene. In this case, for architecture or for an interior scene. But what we do have here, if I get a quick uh, render of our image, now what we do have here now is that um, it's just a simple uh, model. And what we want to do is when you have a look at uh, render uh, SketchUp styles, renders, they are mostly flat colors with um, strokes on them. And the way to go about it is just to apply freestyle strokes and also make sure we work with the Toon BSDF uh, material. In that way, we get to, you know, um, mimic a bit of it, not actually get exactly, but almost close to that. So uh, without much further ado, what I would want to first and foremost deal with is when we look at our render, we want to be able to give it uh, some flat shadows. Now the way to do that is to add in a sunlight and we'll just push this one up here and then we would use that but in this kind of setup what we want to do is because it's going to be uh, flat colors we don't want to use cycles to do that we would rather switch to our EV and that's where we're going to do most of the um, setups for our scene so to basically get this going we would want to activate our freestyle what this is going to do is going to give us a stroke around our object and we will just have a quick look at it so we've changed to ev let me just set this to 64 just to make it a bit quicker and make sure that our sunlight is in okay make sure everything is at default okay and let's just go with a quick render image so what it does is after it's render the uh, model we begin to get the strokes so um we will just make some few changes here and there and then we'll be able to uh call it today for this tutorial so first and foremost is these uh lines that are found within the objects and what we're going to do is we want to make some further changes to our freestyle setup that we've just done and the way we do that is by coming to our view layer properties on our properties section and where we get to freestyle under the line sets we have our crease and we'll take that out so if we have a quick look at it what we do have here now is that the crease would be out and you won't find that in here now if we take a close look at our Kilo over here it seems to cut through and the reason is because normally freestyle wouldn't you know be able to show that once this area is penetrated should be able to cover that part so for us to correct that all we just need to do is come back to our scene and then just take out the object so that it doesn't appear to be completely set it so that takes care of that so um for this scene the good thing about this is the rendering doesn't really take much time it kind of pulls it through so the next thing we're going to work on is just to flatten our palace we're going to use the two bsdf and that would help us to give us a much more uh, flat color for our objects so 
the setup that it was used was the principal BSDF. Now I'll switch over to let me switch over to objects under my shader properties. Now this is the setup that was used, and we're going to make sure we're going to just you know basically make it very simple, very simple. Um, SketchUp uses a very simple material shader for its um, for its objects, and we want to mimic that. So we two. All we do now is we've converted the principle all the way to tune. And what we're going to do is switch over to our materials view. And what happens is whenever you change, it's going to switch the color. So I'm going to pick the color over here on this uh, sofa. And we're going to use that to maintain so what we'll do is we'll copy the hexadecimal and we'll just change this one also to tune or better still we can also just use the same texture so so far can appear to two just select that and just apply that also take this one so far can appear and we'll just Maintain all that so we have the texture and for all the materials over here. We we'll would also take this one too and also make it still fun. So, what we have here is our Tune BSDF that is going to be used, and we're also going to change this also to our Tune BSDF. Okay. So for the purposes of our tutorial, we're just going to leave it at white so that because with the black, it will not really show the strokes around it. So we'll just leave it at this and let's just have a quick look at it. Now, before I render, let me just open the previous render and open slot two. And we'll render that slot so we'll be able to appreciate the difference in the colors. So this is our slot one. Now this is slot two. Now if you take a close look at our shader, if you want to go with this kind of look, it's okay. But we wanted to give it a bit more flat colors, and this the tomb shader gives us this ability to get give us a um, much more cleaner flat look than our principal BSDF. So what we're going to do now is work on our um the base what we're going to do is with the tune bsdf what happens is whenever you change it from the principle to the tune what happens is that uh, we lose the texture but we can quickly bring it back with the setup that was used the color out, uh, input and color output of the image texture just needs to be but back and we have it in here. So the good thing about this kind of um, setup is that with this, let me open up the view render. We have slot two, slot one. Okay. The only downside to this is that we would have our texture looking a bit faded if we turn it over, but. And just to give it that flat look, we will still maintain the two BSDF. So the view render, I'll switch this to slot three. And we'll just take a quick render of that one also. So not much difference, but we just want to make sure we are working in the two BSDF for all textures. Even though there was a slight difference, but we can just uh, maintain with that. So um, this is just a quick setup of how we are able to come up with um, SketchUp style rendering. So maybe let's just change the angle, just have a look at it from the back, see how it looks like. So as I was explaining, because 
and these objects are intersecting we would lose that stroke line over there so normally if you want to be able to make sure that's the downside to the freestyle over here um, if anyone has a, a quick way to still maintain the stroke even after the penetration uh, please do share the link uh, so we all learn but basically this is how we are able to achieve um, SketchUp SketchUp style of rendering within Blender in a quick setup we'll be able to be able to give us that uh, simple outlook so uh, this uh, has been a quick one and i'll catch you in the next one bye